what is going on guys welcome to the channel today i want to share with you guys my summer weekly um, produce shopping list for my front yard garden and also we're going to do a garden tour as well so let's go all right so let's start from the side of the house so as we walk in you can see in the background that is the muscadan grapes over there so here there is the muscadan grapes and there are a lot of grapes under this right there this thing produces like a lot of grapes every year. And right there on the edge is the um, citromelo plant. It's gonna have a disease, so I'm gonna try to save this as well. And there's some uh, flower canna. And also that is the Jerusalem artichoke right here. All right, so as we walk up here, there are more grapes up here. Check out this Mus muscadine grapes. This thing is so heavy that it's actually snapped the, uh, my Gavanai wire right here. Snap the nail off from the trellis. So I gotta put this back thing up. And then as we pan over here, I have another muscadine grapes up here. So this variety is smaller. I think this is a fry variety, but it's prolific. So it's pushing out a lot of grapes. All grapes down here. All right, then as we walk into the garden, it's a little mess, but we got some gore that's climbing up right there, Lufa and some um, cucumber over there. All right, so as we walk in, sorry for the mess. Got some bunch of ceiling on the side, and then we got some flowers over here. And this is the cucamelon. Check that out. Beautiful cucamelon right there. And I got some plant in the back as well. All right. And over here is the water spinach bed, a muong, and some pomegranate in the pots right here, and aloe vera, the herbs, and that is the zuzu lemon that I'm trying to revive in a five gallon bucket. And that is a lettuce bed mix, and some beans climbing there, more lettuce and beets and carrots. Yeah. So this spinach bed on this side, I harvest like one third of this already. Alright, since we are at the um, water spinach bed, I gotta harvest some of this. So as we harvest this, we only cut two inches from the bottom. And this is what you get. So if you, I have a video on how to plant this as well. So I will put on the link on the top on the corner if you guys haven't seen that yet and this thing is really easy to grow and they grow very fast too you can harvest this like uh, from seed around like 25 days and then you can like start cutting this and then saute it and it makes great substitute for spinach And our family love this thing because it's really tasty after you stir fry it with um, garlic and then put some a little bit of seasoning in there. And that's it. So there it is. We got one, one meal harvest right here. So that is one of my uh, grocery lists on the green. Here you go. That's one full bucket of water spinach. And then over on this bed, we have pennyworth. I got this from the neighbor. And this thing is growing beautifully. So what we do is, is that you can basically take the leaves like this, right? And then you can eat it fresh or you can um, saute it or boil this. 
or you can make juice out of this. Basically, you blend this flesh like this, and then you drain out all the pulps and the fiber, and then you drink the juice and put uh, some syrup in there. It tastes amazing, and it's cool down your body as well, especially in the summer heat. All right, and over there is we got the potatoes that I just put it in. This will be ready by fall to cool. There's some cherry tomato that's growing over there. And we've got some cucumber that's hiding in the back over there. Right here. Got one right here. Pick it. Right there. And then there's another one right here. Beautiful cucumber. And then on the right is we got the pumpkin patch. So far I haven't seen any pumpkin yet. Um, it's a lot of male flowers but no female flowers. So I got some zucchini plant in there as well but because there's a lot of shade it's not very productive. And over there is the pomegranate. It's finally this tree I had it for six years now or six or seven years and it's have not pushing out any flowers yet but this year decided to push it out a bunch of flowers right there and hopefully we'll get some fruit as set and over that section is the okra the okra is coming in nicely um but no fruit yet you see i don't see any flower set yet and then we got the apples over there and then the blackberry bush over there and it seems like the corn it's coming in right here i need to hand pollinate this um let's see let me get the tassel and then just do this oh actually there's no pollen coming out yet that premature pollinating so I just put corn in just to have corn. I didn't like um, structure this corn for this year. And then on that corner, we have another pomegranate too that I put in. Uh, surprisingly, I move it relocated. Surprisingly, there's a pomegranate over there. So that's cool. And then another apple tree. I think this is the Granny Smith. The other one is a red apple. And this section is jujube tree and Tomato there over on the fence. Right there. Huge, huge tomatoes. I need to tie this up. Right there. We still got some blackberries coming in as well. And right there is the uh, sweet potato patch. And all the jam and we got more pomegranate over here nicely flowers still pushing out and we got some couple of the pomegranate that's set already right here nice green one and here's a red side right there and this nectarine tree was covered with fruit but then after july 4th the humidity came in, the brown rots kick in and it took out everything. So I only got like a handful of fruits that was edible. So I'm thinking maybe taking this thing down. All right. And over there is another pomegranate tree. Got some fruit set over there as well. And that is my lettuce bed here that is in the shade. And this one over here as well in the shade. And this thing is doing great. And this variety is one make. I'll put the link in the description below if you guys want to grow this. This thing is so far the best performance in the heat right now. Um, a little bit tip burn, but um, growing this in part shade, it's working out really well. It's bolting right here, but the leaf is still edible. I've been harvesting this like um, four, three times now, and this is probably the fifth time. Basically, just cut and come again, just picking the leaves on the side. Let's go up and look at this bok choy, guys. 
you can grow bok choy in the summer, hot shade. This beautiful bok pak choy right here. Look how big the leaves are. All right. So we're going to continue to experiment that and we're going to grow more next year as well on the next summer. So that way it continues to have greens in the whole summer. And that another bed over there that has uh, romaine toss and the um, bun snake as well. All right, so since we have the lettuce bed, we're going to start to harvest some of this. Look at this beautiful basket of lettuce. So my wife is doing uh, a juicing and she needs uh, some apple. And I got some apple. And the perfect juicing is a uh, Granny Smith. So we're going to pick a Granny Smith apple right now. There it is. Granny Smith apple. Check this out. Beautiful Granny Smith apple. Let's get two. See? Organic and fresh right from the garden. So grow your own food, guys. And now, my kids want some apple as well. So we're gonna pick the red apple right here. The red apple is still green, but this thing is still sweet. Check how big this thing is. All right. And there she is, munching on her apple right there. All right, so let's continue with the tour. We're gonna go to the tomato patch and get some tomatoes. Right here, tomato vine. We got huge tomatoes that's coming in right here. Daddy, this tomato's right. Yeah. Check that out. How big this thing is. And we also have some tomato over here that's in the container that I got extra that I never transplanted out. And it still produces tomatoes. It's a small size, but it's still great. All right, here's some more tomatoes. And we've got some more over here. This thing, I think, is a ace tomatoes. I was given this from the, one of the seed seller, one of the seed seller that as an actual gift. So. This thing is humongous. And also over here, I got this whole vine of cherry tomatoes right here. This thing is like prolific. It's putting out so much tomatoes. Let's see if we can get like a cluster from here. Oh, I don't have my pruning knife. It's okay, grab the whole hand right there. Mm. Mm. Super sweet tomatoes.
it is a full basket of organic tomatoes. All right, now let's continue the tour for down here. We got the little jujube tree right here, that's wild. And over here, it is a row of bell peppers right here. And this thing should be coming in in the fall. It's gonna be uh, a lot of bell peppers. There's always some always set already up there. And then more tomatoes. And that is the peach tree. And I got more tomato that is growing down here against the fence. And it's putting out a lot right here. Oh man. I'm just going to leave this, let it rot a little bit more, and I will pick it. So let's walk back up the hill. And here we got some zucchini, squash. And I'm leaving this to save the seed because this thing is very productive. And this thing was not bitten or be affected by the uh, vine borer. So I'm trying to save this in Eric and try to grow it next year. And here's another small one that's coming in. And that is the patch of uh, green mustard. That's like gone to flowers. And also on the left side is the eggplant patch. So we got some black beauty right here. It's coming in nicely. It's not black yet, but right here. This one is pretty black. So we're going to go wait a little bit more and then we're going to harvest the eggplant probably next week. And this nice beautiful color right here, look at that. And then up here is the pepper patch. Um, beautiful pepper coming in as well. So these are cayenne pepper. It's pretty spicy. I like to eat them green. And then on the left hand over here is the cabbage patch. Um, this is my first time growing cabbage and this thing was doing great until like July. And we got like the cabbage moth coming in and I got a bunch of caterpillar attacking it like this. But it's, it's okay. I'm just going to leave it and let it grow out. And we're going to get to some harvest later on in the fall. And also within the cabbage patch, I also do some succession planting with some radish right here. And I think some of them is ready to be pulled. Actually, right here. Let's pull this up to see what it looks like. <laughs> Check that out. I mean, it's a very big root, but it's not a typical form of radish. So here we got another one. So let's pull up some few more. Okay. And this one is ready for that. It's a big, big one over here. It's not as big. And then over here, we got more some zucchini as well, or squash. So I'm saving that one for seed as well. And a lot of this zucchini got like uh, vine border damage, so they got attacked pretty bad um, once July hit. So there's not much production right now. It's kind of in a pause. All right, so over here we got some more cucumber vine. I'll take that. And then these are my two raised bed that I'm doing the lettuce experiment. So again, there's another video on that to go into deeply how this thing is going. So make sure to check that out. And these are 
cinnamon romaine and the red romaine and some uh, bronze mix as well these are some peppers right there and this side more lettuce and more water spinach and this is the noble giant spinach surprisingly this thing is doing really well in the heat um, however the leaf is here a little bit better i haven't eaten it yet so and over here is the an, a gore that's coming out so we're probably going to pull that too all right guys so that's pretty much the front yard uh so let's exit it out and uh we're going to show you guys some of the rest of the fruit tree outside and the backyard as well all right so as we go here the path walk up to the house are the four jujubee that are giant right now it's like around 15 feet high and the jujubee are coming in but not as much as i like it so there's the leaf i'm sorry there's the lang jujubee it's shaped like a pear and the fruit is not prolific as much because of the storm we got a lot in july it's crazy and we got the lee down there and that's supposed to be another lang on this left and it is the showwood right here. The showwood got a lot of flowers this year as well, and uh, I suppose we have a lot of fruit, but we will see how it goes in the end of the summer. All right, so here is the citromelo that is also around like 15 feet as well. And this is the zuzu tree that is pushing out new leaves, new growth beautifully. And we got some asparagus right here that's coming in and we got a sad blueberry patch right here and panning over here is a fake pack we've been picking fake like um daily like a few fake that's coming in that's ripened that's one that left for us by the ants we got a lot of fake this year right here this one like dried up because we didn't come out and pick it fast enough that it got to it. Right here, like down here. And it's like munching on this right now. But uh, summer's still long. Haven't ended yet. So have a lot of green figs. And over here is the banana, Musa Bashu. Go hardy banana. Let's come back every spring. All right, so that's pretty much the front of the house. Let's go back to the backyard and I will show you guys what's going back there. All right, guys, so now we're in the back. And as you can see in the back, it's very messy because my kids make a mess and I make a mess. So here in the back is uh, my two tier rolled out quail cage that I'm building right now because I'm moving the quail to this side against the fence. And then let's pan over to this corner. We got some uh, lemon, my lemon in a pot, and that is overgrown weeds that taken over my pomegranate tree. And over here, some grape as well, a pawpaw tree right there, and a big fig tree that needs to be getting taken out. And a lot of weeds. I haven't have time to get through any of this stuff yet. And a lot of pot seedling in here. And it is my cucumella again in the pot. And it is thing is this beautiful cooker melon right here. Tastes just like cucumber, um, a hint of sourness. So give it a try, guys. Here is my giant Pandora lemon right here. The fruit is set with my hand pollination. Um, it's also pushing out a lot of fruit as well over here. This thing is like crazy. And this is the um, pineapple guava. And in the back is mainly um, beans against the fence. We got a lot of beans going on right here. And I gotta start harvesting this right there. Our fresh beans, prolific beans. And we got some cucumber as well going in the back here. And also herbs, uh, basil, and some Vietnamese herb over there, and cilantro. And also, I got a row of um, sweet pepper, bell pepper as well. This is all uh, grown from seed, just 
throw it in and then it's come up and test it out, see how it, well it works back here. And over there is the beans, more beans. Check this out. I got to harvest all this. And um, Roman cost lettuce that gone to flower. I'm laying it to flower to get some seeds. And I think this bean patch is pretty much over. I got like six harvests out of this. And every time it's like a full bucket. And this bean, this size is like the second time harvest right now. And this is going to be the third time, I think. And a um, bunch of beans over here. We're gonna pull this right here. My first gourd for the season. All right, guys. So that is the tour of the garden, and that is my weekly harvest. So right now, eighty percent of the produce come from my garden, and my goal is to get around like ninety-five percent to a hundred percent, and um, during the summertime, and. The winter time, we'll see. Probably just go like a bunch of greens as well. And we're gonna see how much we're going I can harvest from that. So if you guys enjoy gardening video and enjoy this content and um, want some gardening tips, make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button to follow for more. And this winter I'm gonna do some uh, stuff and try to grow like all year round as well. So make sure to follow for more. And I'll see you guys on the next video.